And my name is Dominic. Uh, yeah, Father Fabio had asked us to just share a little bit about um, how we chose St. Rose of Lima and what it means for us to be stewards. Yeah, so to give a little background on us, we are from Michigan and we met at Michigan State University. Uh, initially, we built our friendship around tennis. And then we had quickly found out that we both attended Mass at the Newman Center near campus, so we started going to Masses together. And then that's kind of when we realized that our relationship could go a little bit further than we were thinking. Yeah, so we dated for about two and a half years while we were at Michigan State, and then Dominic graduated and came here to Minnesota to attend dental school at the University of Minnesota. And then, uh, so we spent the next three years uh, kind of alternating our visits every month. Uh, Anika had moved to Utah for a position as a medical laboratory technologist uh, there to work directly with patients and it was a hard offer to kind of turn away because she got to spend her weekends adventuring in the canyon, snowboarding, and rock climbing. So for those of you not keeping track, that's about five and a half years that we were dating. It's a long time, right? Um, we certainly thought so, especially since early on uh, we felt that called marriage and we knew that was in our future. Uh, Dominic was actually the one that took initiative and planned a very elaborate and surprise proposal. Uh, so to make a long story short, we became engaged this past March. And those of you with really keen memories, uh, not even a week after that, uh, the whole world shut down because of the pandemic. So it worked out at the right time. Uh, so this threw kind of a wrench into our plans because back in February, Anika had accepted a position out here at uh, Minnesota um, for a job. And so during the shutdown, she had to move during the middle of that. Yeah, so driving cross country in my little condo Accord was quite the adventure, uh, but I'm really blessed that the Lord kept me safe on my drive. Uh, as I settled in here in Minnesota, I began looking for a new church community and that made me think back to a conversation I had with Dominic's mom. She was telling me how her and Dominic's father were very intentional in choosing their new parish um, to start their newly wedded life. Because they both grew up in the same town and had their own home parishes, but they didn't want to choose one over the other. Um, so they specifically chose a new one that they got married in and attended for many, many years until they moved. And I brought this up to Dominic, and he really loved this idea, and so did I. Especially since during this conversation, Mass is mostly live streamed. Yeah, so to give a little, uh, like, some context on what brought me, or brought us to St. Rose of Lima, was when I first moved to Minnesota, I spent my weekends kind of jumping around to different parishes. Uh, I really wanted to find a new home. I first tried out the Newman Center, but where I was in my life with professional school, I just didn't feel like uh, it was right. Uh, it wasn't the church for me. Then I tried out the cathedral, but didn't really feel a connection with the parishioners or the priest. Uh, and I do remember the first time I came to St. Rose of Lima. Uh, when I first walked in, I just remembered seeing families greeting each other, saying hi, giving hugs, asking how everyone's doing. Like, just the atmosphere that created that the community here created just brought so much joy to my heart. And it wasn't until seeing the youngest priest that I'd ever seen in my life walk in. He gave his homily, and I just knew that I was home. It was the first time in a very long time that I was actually hanging on to every word and actually listening to every word. And my time at Mass just became that much more fruitful. And I knew right there God was calling me to make St. Rose my new home. So listening to Dominic describe St. Rose like this, I don't know how I could possibly say no to making this our new home parish. Um, so we're so excited that we're going to get to join this parish community. Um, and I know this weekend is a little bit more about stewardship. So I want to just talk a little bit about how God had been beautifully orchestrating so much of our lives. And through some extra reflection and prayer, we've been able to see God's hand at work in both of our lives. He placed us into each other's lives for a reason, and we're so excited to celebrate our marriage here at St. Rose in May. Um, 
But one of the many gifts God has blessed me personally with is the desire to learn and to share that with people that I meet. Um, and God has paved the way for me to attend physician assistant school. So I'm really excited to share with all of you that I'll be attending St. Catherine University uh, this coming fall to train and become a PA and get to serve people in that capacity. Uh, I'm very excited to follow God's call and to treat my future patients with the kindness and compassion that the Lord has shared with me. I'm blessed for my calling, and I will continue to be a good steward of God's love through those that I will encounter in the future. And then for me, to respond to God's constant blessings, I felt the calling to be a steward for the Holy Rosary. Uh, during the lockdown, I became obsessed with making rosaries and chaplets for myself, my friends, and my family. Uh, my family. It just it had become such a spiritual devotion to our Holy Mother that I even started reciting a rosary daily. Uh, I became so excited making different rosaries that I decided, like, I didn't even know what the history of the rosary was. Like, how did it start in the Catholic Church? And I was left speechless when I found out that Mary had appeared before a Catholic priest in the year 1214, giving this priest the concept of the rosary and how to recite it. Uh, today, the, that Catholic priest, he today he is known as Saint Dominic. Um, so to me, the rosary is one of the most powerful gifts that God has ever given us, uh, and it just shows us how we can grow our relationship with him, his son Jesus, and Mary. And I'll continue to be a steward for this gift that God has given us. So thank you everyone for listening to our testimony. Thank you for being good stewards of God's gifts in your lives and for living out the mission of St. Rose and so that other people can see God's work through you and be pulled to our church. Thank you. So thank you for all the ways that you are stewards in your own life.